Welcome to another episode of Cookie Vision. In this video, I'm going to be making Bly's Memorial Community Hall. So I've got a building shaped cookie cutter here and I'm using a reddish brown uh, royal icing and a piping consistency with a number two tip. And I'm outlining the bottom of the hall where the red brick is. And I'm going to fill it in with a flooding consistency of the same color here in a squeeze bottle. And I'll use my scribe tool to even everything out and get rid of any air bubbles. And to avoid color bleeding, uh, since the next part I want to do is white, I'm going to let this crust over before I move on to the next step. And the next step is outlining the top of the building, which is white. So I'm outlining the rest of the cookie in a piping consistency white roll icing with a number two tip. And I'm going to be filling it in with a flooding consistency of the same color in a squeeze bottle. And I'll use my scribe tool to even everything out and get rid of any air bubbles. It also works really well to get that icing into those little corners. Next, I'm going to add the roof that's above the doorway, and this is just a small triangle, so I've got the same icing that I used to outline the top of the roof, uh, the white royal icing with piping consistency with a number two tip, and I'm filling it in with the flooding consistency as well. So before I move on to the next step, I want to make sure that this dries a little bit, uh, just because I don't want the brown to bleed into the white so much. So I want to add some of the columns on either side of the door, and I'm just using my piping consistency uh, reddish brown for this. This is a number two tip. I didn't bother with the flooding consistency since it is such a small uh, area. I've also got a piping consistency gray here. And I'm going to outline and fill in the windows with the same piping consistency. Again, uh, since they're such small areas, you probably don't need the flooding consistency. Plus, uh, small areas like this are very susceptible to things like um, cratering, which um, can lead to cracks or holes in your icing, or just a general dipping in the middle. And since I don't want that, I'm going to use this piping consistency because it is on the thicker side. And a thicker icing uh, in smaller areas like this is always a good bet. Uh, if you have problems with cratering especially. So I've got two windows on each side of the door at the bottom and then uh, two arched windows on each side and then two more windows in the middle above the peaked roof. And that was a number two tip as well. And I've also got a piping consistency tan here and this is a number two tip and I'm outlining the outside and then filling it in. Again, I'm not bothering with a flooding consistency here as it's just such a small space and it's just a kind of a waste of time to make something uh, two different consistencies for such tiny little spots. And I'm using my uh, scribe tool to get everything into the corners and kind of sharpen it up a little bit. And that's about it for the flooding layer. And I've let this thoroughly dry. I usually let my flooding layers dry overnight, but it depends on whether you have problems with color bleeding or uh, it takes longer to dry in your region. And I've got a piping consistency white roll icing here with a double zero tip. So this is one of my smallest tips. You could also use a number one tip if you can't find the uh, double zero tip. I also have a triple zero tip, but it was a little too small for what I needed it for. And I'm just outlining all of the windows with it, and I'll add the uh, middles of the windows as well. So next I just want to divide that door in half and add some handles. So I've got a food art pen here and I'm just drawing it on. This is a brown food art pen and it's just filled basically with uh, food dye. You can get them in all sorts of different brands. That was a rainbow art brand one. I also use a lot of Chef Master as well. And I'm going to exchange that double zero tip from that white royal icing that 
piping consistency and I'm going to stick a number one tip on it because I don't need the lines as fine. Uh, the windows are so small so I definitely needed a smaller tip for that. And I'm outlining the peaked roof above the door, um, the outside of the arches and the outside of the door and then I'm going to move up into the uh, rest of the roof and that's where the white paneling is or the white siding. So I'm outlining the peak of the roof and then I'm going to add some uh, horizontal lines all the way across and create some siding. And I'm also going to outline that little tower in the top as well. And just to give you a little snippet of information about the place, uh, Blythe Memorial Community Hall is located in Blythe, Ontario, not too far from where I am. I'm in Goddard, Ontario. And it was built in 1920 to commemorate the terrible losses from the First World War. And the women of Blythe actually wanted to create something more than the commemorative statues that were rising up across the country. And the whole community and surrounding area got involved with the local women's institute purchasing the land on which the building would be erected. And today the hall is not just a center for Blythe, but for all of Huron County, with uh, people coming together to enjoy professional theater in the summer and top name Canadian and international talent during the fall and winter season. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like me on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye!